Good morning, Jack. Today on Jack TV, we will take a look at how the administration wants you to be prepared for an emergency situation when you are not in a classroom. We will also check in with softball as they head into area playoffs. This, this is, is Jack, Jack TV. TV. Spring show will be held on May 3rd at 6.30 p.m. and on May 4th at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Tickets will be on sale on the Johnson website. Reserved seats are 15 and regular seats are 10. AP exams begin the week of May 7th and continue through the week of May 18th. There will be three days of STAR EOC testing. Algebra 1 on May 7th, Biology on May 8th, and U.S. History on May 9th. Once a month, administration has put in place lockdown drills, but what's supposed to happen if there's an emergency and you're not in a class? AJ, Jorge, and Manny look into the lockdown steps for the cafeteria and athletic fields. With monthly lockdown drills, the administration wants to demonstrate what steps should be taken for lockdowns in lunches and athletic periods. When we go into a lockdown, that means that there is a potential for a threat or there is a threat on our campus at that moment. And so what we would look to is make a decision that's going to be in the best interest and in the interest of safety of our students and faculty. So in our lunch periods where we have students that are sitting outside, and we have to then respond if the best situation is obviously to get our students inside the cafeteria, potentially inside the gym area if you're in the courtyard. As we come inside the cafeteria and we go into a potential lockdown situation, if there was a threat on our campus and we needed to get out of the way of the doors, the sight line here in the cafeteria, we would utilize our kitchen area. And you're going to see that kitchen area here in, in some video. We would utilize other spaces such as our ISS room to get out of the cafeteria. If we're in a situation where we need to actually physically exit the kitchen cafeteria completely, we would then use the back exit. If that's, our, if that's our safest spot, if it's not to come out these doors right here, potentially our kitchen exits as well, which you'll see as well in some video time. As we leave our safe area here, just as our athletics know, as they leave our campus, we have our path leading from the football field to Roan Forest as a potential safe area for our students to evacuate our campus. That can be used as well if the situation arises that leads us to make that decision to leave the cafeteria, go out the back, that's our spot right there that we would head to through the athletics and our exit again, leaving campus to keep our students safe in that situation. You know, it's extremely important as we talk is that our faculty and our students become situationally aware, making decisions that are in the best interest of their own personal safety and, and we're going to utilize our campus space as we have in our drills to make sure that we have that opportunity here. And we're going to do that continue in May with our improving our communication from our, camp, from our campus faculty and our campus administration to our students as well in those drilling situations. Remember everything is situational and things can and will change. After enjoying their ranking at the top of the season, the softball team is heading into area playoffs. Connor and Eduardo have more from Coach Fox. The Johnson softball team could finish the season with one of their best years yet. It hasn't just been like coming from the coaches. Our seniors have been really great leaders. Our team captains have done a good job of pushing everybody every single day. Currently ranked number one in the nation, the Johnson softball team has not only learned from the coaches, but also from each other. It's kind of like a house whenever you build a house or a, any kind of structure. If you have a good foundation that's laid and then everything else can kind of build from there. And so the people that have come before this team have laid a great foundation. And as the school year comes to an end, the players have learned the value of teamwork and sportsmanship. And so it's been fun watching them kind of grow and their confidence grow and know that this isn't just about one individual, it truly is a team. For Jag TV, I'm Connor McBriarty. With summer right around the corner, Talia, Julie, and Ileana take a look at the job opportunities for students. As the school year winds down, students may find themselves with empty pockets and extra time on their hands. With the surplus of stores, fast food joints, and restaurants now hiring, getting a job has never been easier, but not all of the steps to getting hired are simple. However, advice from these working students might help you figure out how to snag some extra cash. Although reaching out to employers in the first place may be nerve-wracking, it doesn't have to be so difficult. 
Um, first, I called the store and then I gave them my like information, my name, my email, my number, and stuff like that. And they said they would get back to me. So then they called me back and asked me for an interview. And then I came in and then I had my interview. And it may be challenging, but the benefits of working have more weight than the disadvantages. It's been kind of hard because. Like this is my junior year, so I have a lot of hard, like AP classes and a lot of homework, and then I'm also playing soccer for high school and club at the same time. So it's kind of like a lot of work, but it's rewarding because whenever I buy something, I'm like, oh, I like I worked really hard for this, and it's taught me a lot about like time management and work ethic and just like keeping all my stuff in line. So the responsibilities of having a job may also seem overwhelming, but a job provides students with experience and a sense of independence. Um. Having a job is definitely like a responsibility, but I mean, it also gets you the things that you want and gets you money, so definitely I say do it. <laughs> when applying, it's important to dress appropriately, keep an open mind when answering questions, and be prepared to have a flexible schedule. Um, what days am I able to work? Uh, what's my availability like during the day, like, during the weekends? Am I able to work mornings? Am I able to work nights? Uh, if I had any prior work experience, um, things like that. Um, I wore my Sunday's best. I didn't wear a full dress, but I wore like some slacks and then a nice blouse. This is Eliana Ortiz from JAG TV. Now is the perfect time to take advantage of the local job opportunities. It's the end of the year and JROTC is hoping to start a new Johnson tradition. The Johnson JROTC is offering a new NEISD event, the Final Football Showdown. Well, I wouldn't just call it a flag football showdown. This is the title we've given it. It is of two parts of it, and it's for one cause. It's a flag football tournament, which people can sign up for from all across the district. We're inviting teams from every single school. We only have 16 slots, first come, first serve. So, I mean, if Johnson doesn't start to show up on applications, Reagan can beat everyone to all the slots if they wanted to. Um, and the flag football tournament is a way to just, you know, create an event for people to gravitate to. And on the side we have a carnival where we have local businesses uh, and clubs from once more all across the district running activities. The rules for this tournament are very different than normal football. Each team costs $24 total. So the teams can have 8 to 12 players and they follow a set of rules that are based off of the American football, a uh, flag football league. Uh, but they're made more for this field size that we have access to. When we and my team, when we pitched it and told our program what we wanted to do and who we wanted to do it for, uh, the staff, or the people who run the JRTC program, the students, really liked it. And the juniors and sophomores within that staff, we want to keep, make it a tradition to keep on going every single year. Hopefully making it bigger and bigger so that A World for Children can continue to benefit from it. To make a team grab perform and sign up with a $24 fee and to make a club activity sign up with a $30 fee. From Jack TV, this is Eric Martinez. To support the JROTC teams, you can sign up now. Now here's something fun from our crew. This is Preston Martinez. This is Javier Juarez. And this is the Johnson's 22nd Talent Show. Do you have any special talents, sir? Yeah, definitely. That was sick. That was really cool. Thank you, Jags. And that was the 22nd Talent Show. That's all for this week. From Jag TV, this has been Aldara Velasquez. And Chance Harden. See, See you, you next, next time, time Jags. Jags.